Hi Aries, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. One more thing, please be careful of scammers that are, that are out there pretending to be me. I will never send you a message telling you to contact me in any way, so please be careful not to get scammed. All right. Aries, let's take a look at your person. Let's let's see what is their current energy and their current feelings for you. Let's see. One more shuffle. Okay, we have the card of death. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. So things might have ended between you and this person with the death card. Or it's looking that way. Okay, we have the devil in reverse. The relationship was toxic between you and this person. Could be a Capricorn. Let's see what the, yeah, the world is at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> Again, so another indication of an ending that might have happened here between you and this person. We also have um, Three of Wands, Hangman, Ace of Cups, and the Emperor. Could be an Aries you're connecting to. Looks to me like this person wants to have a new beginning with you. Whoever you experience an ending or separation with. With the Ace of Cups, this is someone who is, is desiring a new beginning. Feels like someone who wants to reconcile. Someone who wants to put aside differences and start all over again with you. Hmm. We do have the three of wands. So this person feels like you're very distant. You've become very distant, um, but it feels like they miss you with that energy. They can feel you being very far away from them. Could be physically, could be emotionally, could be both, but they can feel you your energy far away from them, very disconnected from them. And I feel like this is someone who wants to take control again of the relationship. We take control of the relationship because they feel like, you know, at some point they lost control. They lost you. So about, sorry about my um, voice, guys. I have a little bit of allergy. It's early in the morning, so... I kind of always, almost always I get allergies. We have the hangman or it's the hang woman here in this deck. This person has been holding back, waiting for the right time to reinsert themselves um, back into your life. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see what are their intentions. 
<clears throat> what is this person's intentions with Aries spirit? What are this person's intentions with Aries? At the bottom of the deck, the Fool in Reverse. We also have Four of Wands in Reverse. Seven of Wands in Reverse with the Four of Pentacles. Tower in Reverse with the Hierophant and the Temperance card again. Um, I mean, I say again because this is kind of like a waiting energy also. This person seems to be kind of nervous uh, and or scared to approach you. They keep showing up with this waiting energy. They're, they're waiting for the right time. With the tower in reverse, even though this relationship might have ended, for them, they still don't feel it like, like it's over. It doesn't feel like it's over for them. And we have the Hierophant. This person feels like they're tied to you in some way. They feel a really strong tie to you. They feel like they just have to get you back because they feel like <clears throat> they feel like you and them are like are meant to be like you're meant to be together for a long time that's how they feel they want to be together with you for a long time they feel like you belong to them and they belong to you with the hero front card. Hmm. With the four of pentacles, I feel like this person is upset here. I feel like they're frustrated. They're upset and they're frustrated. Why why is that spirit? Let me clarify that. Tell me about the four of pentacles. <clears throat> we have the nine of wands here. Again, kind of like an energy of feeling frustrated. This person doesn't know what to do. Yeah, I feel like they're writing, sorry, they're waiting for the right time to come towards you, but they're nervous to do that. Tell me more about the Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, the Three of Cups is here. And the Six of Wands in reverse is here. This person is scared of experiencing a disaster with you. Yeah. 
They're, ex they're scared to experience a disaster with you. Yeah, they don't want to um, have another heartbreak or have another disappointment with you. So I feel like they are kind of holding back because they are still carrying a lot of grief and a lot of like resentment I feel over whatever whatever happened between you two that energy is kind of contradictory to be honest with you it feels kind of contradictory because I feel like this person it's like they want to make things right with you but at the same time they feel hurt and wounded by something that you did or said to them. And they haven't fully let go of that, you know, that pain or that disappointment that they feel in regards to you, in regards to whatever you did or said to them. But they don't want to lose you. So they want to come back towards you to regain the relationship, to recover the relationship. They're waiting for the right time. I don't know what's the purpose here, honestly. I don't know why they're coming towards you if they, if they feel like bitterness, basically. They're, they're feeling bitter t towards you. They're feeling bitterness towards you. Like they they quite they haven't quite forgiven you basically, they haven't quite forgiven you for something you did or said. They're carrying a grudge here. But they want to reconcile, and they want to have a new beginning with you, but they haven't let go of the past and their the issues that they have with you from the past. They haven't let that go. This looks like a recipe for a disaster basically. I think that's why this person is holding back, you know, taking their time because they know that they haven't resolved their bitterness with you. How does Aries feel about all of this spirit? How does Aries feel about this person? What are Aries' current feelings? Thank you, spirit. Oh, justice. Your feelings are justice. Some of you feel like this person got what they deserved. Some of you feel like if this person is upset and bitter, holding a grudge, I, you might feel like, you know, that's, that's justice. Okay, anything else spare about Aries' current feel current feelings, please? Huh. Yeah, look at that strength card. Strength card and the justice card. Hmm. Some of you know that this person is um, struggling with this separation and you're happy about that. Again, I keep getting, some of you feel like they deserve that because of how they were with you. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. 
So we have high priestess in reverse. Hmm. Some of you feel like um, this person has been exposed. You've you've discovered the truth about them. You've seen their true colors. You've gained a lot of clarity about this person. Hmm. And I almost feel like you're resistant. You're resistant to have anything with them again. You're stronger without them. You're stronger without them. You're better off without them. Yeah, I feel like you're opening yourself up to, to new opportunities. You're feeling very self-empowered and you're opening yourself up to new opportunities. And I feel like to new options in love. With the justice card, you might feel like whatever, whatever was meant to happen between you two has happened and there's nothing left of this relationship for you to go back to. So my, while they might not be over you, I feel like you are over them. I also feel like you've released um, whatever negativity you absorbed from this relationship. I feel like you released that. Your energy feels pretty good, actually, Aries. So I'm happy for you because it does feel very um, powerful. Like I said, it's like you're you're feeling self empowered here. You're feeling stronger than than you ever did before. Hmm. What's the outcome here um, between Aries and this person, Spirit? Yeah, what actions will this person take towards Aries moving forward? And what is the outcome? Interesting. We do have the two of cups here, Aries. Okay, with the four of cups and the two of swords in reverse. Hmm. This person is going to, you know, keep thinking about you and keep thinking about wanting to reconnect with you. Um, it does look like they have other options here with the, with the three cups that are in this card, but it looks like they're not interested in any other option. They're focused more on the relationship with you and the relationship that they want to recover with you. Two of swords in, re in reverse. I feel like They've also gained some clarity. They've gained some clarity over this relationship, over, over what this relationship means to them. Tell me more about the, um, the outcome here, Spirit.
Interesting. Okay. Queen of Wands in reverse and the King of Pentacles in reverse with the Eight of Cups in reverse. I do feel like there's going to be a reconciliation attempt. But because both of you are showing up in the reverse, both king and queen are showing up in the reverse, it does look like not much is going to change or like or nothing at all actually is going to change between you and this person. So it does look like it's headed towards the same ending. that already happened between you two. I just feel like it's not it's not going to get rolling. The ball is not going to get rolling. Like there's going to be a reconciliation attempt, but it's not going to you know, um take flight. It's not going to take flight because the relationship is not the same anymore like you two are not the same anymore. You two have changed. And what originally brought you two together doesn't exist anymore. Somebody here has outgrown the relationship, basically. Okay. So Aries, that's what I have for you. I hope this helped you. I hope it resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. All right. Bye, guys. Take care.